Welcome to the Fire Up Pizza Sports Studio. I'm your host, Brock Baldridge. Oklahoma State Baseball had their series canceled this weekend, but within 24 hours, they have a new opponent. OSU Softball will hit the road this week after a nice homestand, and it's also Masters Week at Augusta National in Georgia. All that and more coming up next on the Sports Report. Oklahoma State Baseball was scheduled to play a non-conference series this weekend against Central Arkansas, but all of that changed when the series was canceled due to COVID-19 issues within the Central Arkansas Baseball program. The Cowboys had to search for a new opponent, and they have done just that. Oklahoma State will now play UNC Wilmington this weekend for a three-game series. The first of the three-game series is scheduled to be played on Friday at 6 p.m. Central right here in Stillwater at O'Brate Stadium. The Cowboys have won six of their last seven games and are looking to keep it things rolling this weekend. Oklahoma State softball had a home conference series over the weekend by sweeping Iowa State. The Cowgirls will look to add to their five-game winning streak as they go on to the road to Lubbock, Texas this weekend for a three-game series against Texas Tech starting Friday at 6 p.m. It's a tradition unlike any other. Yes, it is Masters Weekend in Augusta, Georgia, as the best golfers in the world look to take home the green jacket. However, there will be some big names missing from this tournament. As most people would have expected, five-time Masters winner Tiger Woods will not be participating in this year's Masters tournament due to injuries he suffered in a car wreck back in February. The PGA released news that a seat was left open in honor of Tiger Woods last night at the annual Champions Dinner. Also, some local golf fans might recognize that former Oklahoma State golfer Ricky Fowler will not be participating in this year's Masters Tournament. Due to poor performance in last year, Fowler did not qualify for the Masters this year. However, some other recognizable local figures that would be former Oklahoma State golfers Matthew Wolf and Victor Hovland did qualify for the Masters Tournament and will both be set to tee off tomorrow morning. Moving on to some Major League Baseball, there were a ton of exciting games over the past weekend and even last night. The big storyline has been the Texas Rangers allowing 100% capacity in Globe Life Field. Last night was the second night of 100% fans at the ballpark. Last night, the Rangers took on the Toronto Blue Jays. Texas would win the game by a final score of 7-4. The Rangers were led by first baseman Nate Lowe, who had two homers in the game and has a major league leading 14 RBIs. Some other notable MLB matchups include the Kansas City Royals, who played Cleveland early this afternoon. The St. Louis Cardinals will finish off a three-game series in South Beach in the later portion of the afternoon against the Miami Marlins. And the Rangers will finish off a three-game series against the Toronto Blue Jays at 1.05 p.m. later today. The past week, the MLB has made some mini headlines by moving their All-Star game out of its original scheduled venue in Atlanta, Georgia, due to a voting law that was passed last month. Major League Baseball has already found a new hosting city and venue. The 2021 Major League All-Star Game will now be played at Coors Field in Denver, Colorado. This would be the first time since 1998 that Colorado has hosted the MLB All-Star Game. Moving on to some men's college basketball news. Many end-of-the-season rewards were given out to some of the nation's top collegiate men's basketball players. After the Baylor Bears won the NCAA National Championship last Monday, Jared Butler was named the most outstanding player of the 2021 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. And Iowa's Luca Garza won the Wooden Award as the nation's top collegiate basketball player. Oklahoma State's Cade Cunningham was a finalist for this award. On a final note, the Oklahoma City Thunder are home tonight, taking on the Charlotte Hornets at 7 p.m. Central in Chesapeake Energy Arena. The Thunder have now lost three straight games and are in pace to possibly receive a high lottery draft pick for the NBA draft later this summer. That's all the time we have today for the Sports Report. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to tune in tomorrow at the same time for the Sports Report. The Sports Report is brought to you by Firo's Fire Kissed Pizza. 